<clears throat> so starting my morning out here in the junkyard this white crx came in and uh well got me a bumper and a hood that means today we can probably take off the j front and make the car more and more stock as we go check out this rear subframe delete oh shit 50% off, let's pay for my shit and get on out of here. Oh, oh. Back here in the garage and today is gonna be a partially sad day. So, in the junkyard, I picked up the bumper, the hood. Uh, bumper doesn't have the foam, which I already have right there on top of the truck. And I have a bumper support that I've already taken off of the uh, gray car. So, I took those off so that way they didn't charge me an arm and a leg like they usually do. It didn't come with any corner lamps, which I'm not too, you know, I'm not worried about it. The hood is really clean. So, uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to sell it white or during the time of trying to sell this car, paint it red. But first and foremost, we're going to get that into the car. So, I also bought this piece because if you guys don't remember or even noticed or paid attention to, I had the one for my gauges. So I want to take that out as well, install the stock unit back into place, and uh, here's the receipt. Thursday, us toolkit members get our 50% uh, off earlier. And then uh, tomorrow, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, or Saturday, Sunday, Monday is the 50% off for Memorial Weekend. Um, here's all the stuff that I paid. Ended up being 69, cause who doesn't like 69? But like I said, today is a CRX type of day. Um, wanna let you guys know right now, what I'm gonna do is try to get this car as stock as possible. And, uh, you know, lift it on the stock suspension, stock front end, probably throw a stock steering wheel in as well. And, uh, Take out the road cage. I know for the CRX that the battery is dead, so I need to get a new battery or charge the battery or get my battery back. If you guys remember the track video, I let my friend friend Bones take my battery because his battery and his alternator died. So I have his old one and mine is a 2017 under warranty. I haven't heard back from it, so I need a new battery. And I'm also gonna swap out the alternator for uh, the CRX with the motor that I have in the backyard. J bumper is off and I uh, just transferred the license plate. I got the bumper support and the foam installed in here. You can see the foam is right there, then the bumper support. Bumper is ready to go on, but first I'm going to take off the headlights, uh, removing the corn light first, and then I'm going to grab my ZC headlights. I'm going to install those, slap the bumper on, make sure the gaps and everything on the fender is good, and then we'll remove the hood and slap on the USDM one over there. So the hood, everything seems to have lined up. Um, I didn't gap the body panels or anything, but hood latches and it stayed, it stays closed. Um, I don't know. I feel like if I get it up and running again, I'm probably gonna drive it. Just keep on driving it because I don't have the car. I don't have a car to drive anyways. So I may hold on to the car for a little bit longer because I still got. A little under a year on registration and still insured for six months so um i don't know the whole plan is to sell the car anyways but you know how it goes like you start losing love for the car when it sits for so long and then when you finally get it up and going again and up to par then you start driving it and you start building love for it again it's kind of one of those love hate relationships so um i don't know I feel like I want button this car 100% I'm gonna drive it around make sure it's all golden before I do sell the car and obviously I would try to get the most out of it because you know it's like part sentimental value to me and I've done so much work to this car but um, if I can get this car 100% then obviously I'm gonna try to get the most out of it without raping somebody on it so I'm gonna continue um, Demodifying this car, <laughs> steering wheel, um, pull the roll cage out, take the bolt to Home Depot, find some plugs for the holes so that way the element doesn't come into the car. Um, clean it up. Like I said, just demodding it. I forgot about 
this right here crx dude on instagram if you guys are looking for any crx parts small clips anything that you would probably break or be missing off your crx this guy's got it so this right here is a new molding that he sent to me a while ago that i just have not opened and installed because the thing doesn't run um so before the weather gets all gloomy and cold as f I'm gonna take this out, I'm gonna paint it black, and I'm also gonna put that on the car as well. So, um, after this, I'm going to the backyard, find all the suspension, like I said, and then jack it all up and swap it out. For some reason, there is full stock suspension in the backyard, and I don't know where it came from. So I got the fronts, and I got the rears. These are EF forks, so they came off an EF, from, from, I don't know, from somewhere, and <laughs> I don't know what car it came off from. So that car has always been low. My brother's blue wagon has always been low. But where these stock suspension come from, I don't know. So uh, what I'm going to do right now is while I am working on the front suspension, I'm going to pop the lower ball joint out and then I'm going to pop the axle out of the transmission, which is probably the easiest way to drop the alternator without taking out any of the hoses on the other side or removing these guys and then the bracket. So I'm going to pull the axle out, drop that alternator. The motor right here in the backyard is a rebuilt engine that came out of my brother's B20 VTEC wagon. And it also has a new alternator. So I'm going to snag this one, swap it, and uh, maybe we'll try to put a jumper pack on it, kick the car on, and then let that alternator charge whatever battery I'm going to put into this car. Because yesterday we did the voltmeter test, and it was only reading 13 instead of 14 on the charge. So I'm almost certain that alternator is possibly the whole issue with my car from the get-go. Well, look at here, guys. We have the alternator installed right here. Got the axle reinstalled on the driver's side. And uh, I removed the traction bar to reinstall the stock cross member. Because like I said, I want this to be as stock as possible. God damn, that is high as hell. Oh, that's definitely a five finger gap. <laughs> Not too shabby, other than that multicolored body panels. Um, it's kind of cold. I can't even feel my ears right now, which is kind of weird. Lovely weather, a little bit of humidity, but um. I may continue this video tomorrow just because I'm like sweating and cold at the same time But like I said, I'll get the CRX here tomorrow and um, I might even just get it on jack stands right now or take out the roll cage or something because I know taking out the control arm between the two cars It's gonna take some time and uh, I'd rather have more daylight than working into the darkness. So I Don't have any ammunition in my BB gun and I cannot sit here and fight the skunk without him that was cooking good shit, having good vibes. I feel like I should go party with them. Friday, Friday, gonna get down on Friday. So it is like almost four o'clock, right? And um, did several runs today. And what I mean by several runs today is I went to the airsoft store, which is the furthest um, location to go to. So I went there, got some 28 grams, 3,500 each, and some green gas for my pistols that use green gas. This is electric. So um, got some of that restock. I'm going to fill up all of my mags right there there you can see them stacked up i got a bunch of these mother suckers and um i went to apple right after got my iphone 7 back they repaired it and uh no cost to me which is dope so apple care service and then after that i went to the junkyard i went to go grab a battery tray because i forgot that yesterday but as far as today goes 
I'm gonna watch Deadpool 2 online with me, Popeye. Popeye's chicken is a shiznit. If you guys know what movie that came from, comment below. Damn, yesterday I watched Deadpool 2 streamed. I watched um, Pitch Perfect 2 again. <laughs> and I also watched All Eyes on Me because, um, you know, I don't really go to the theater often. I just wait for it to come online and get an HD quality and then catch up on it. So, today, um, it's the same day that we're going to be doing the B20 VTEC on the sedan, which is right there. Uh, but first, car got dropped off, letting it cool down. And in the meantime, I am going to be swapping all of my suspension from the red car to my gray car. So, underneath, stock sway bar, stock control arm, stock shocks, because you know, 1760 foot proven eBay colorers over here. We have Suspension Technique 22 millimeter sway bar, Skunk 2 control arm, and the 50 tie bar from Skunk 2 as well. Um, I don't want to put this on the CRX because it's supposed to be budget and it's supposed to be not having a lot of money into it. Um, these are expensive stuff, if you know. And uh, yeah, I just don't have any stock stuff to replace this CRX with. So I'm just going to snag everything off of this car, swap this over and get the CRX more and more stock as we go. Whew. All right. We got all of the suspension components off the red CRX. Skunk 250 tie bar, 22 millimeter sway bar with the brackets, Skunk 2 control arm, function form coilovers. I've had these first generation function form type ones and when I say first generation, this is the one before it even came out with a type 2. Stiff as fuck. I've had this since 2011 and they've been great to me. They are still solid as fuck, but we have a naked undercarriage here and I am currently taking everything off the uh, gray CRX for already to loosen it up. Oh, who doesn't love power tools? It's great for a lot of things, but it could also strip a lot of things. So I'm taking this thing out as a whole unit. You guys can see the sway bar still connected. And I'm just going to install it all at once. Yeah, so procrastination at its finest. Uh, one, I was on my phone too long. Two, I fell asleep under the car for like 15 minutes and uh, we are done. Um, CRX drag car got all the nice suspension stuff other than the shocks because my shocks are proven and I'd rather just keep those um, stacked up somewhere. I don't know. Just kind of forget I had it, but then I have it. I got the tow hook installed with the sway bar because this is a car that's going to be on the trailer a lot so I need those hooks so I can strap the car down without it flying off when we're towing. On this car, all stock everything. Everything's all tightened up, uh, preloaded, I mean like I jacked the suspension up and then I uh, tighten it down so that way the bushing is already in the position it's going to be rather than twisting if you guys know about that. The SI sway bar is on there because all SIs have sway bars. And what I'm going to do right now is clean up all my tools, slap the wheels back on, move this back over there, move the CRX out and then we'll close out this video. Alright guys, that's pretty much going to be it for today, um, as far as the CRXs go. Park back over there, I still got to move the CRX out, move the sedan up, and uh, I didn't get to the cash can today for the CRX, that's because I decided to take Friday off, and uh, the sedan B20 VTEC swap is supposed to be a two day, I've already lost half day because I'm working on the CRX the same day I'm supposed to be recording the sedan, but I'm going to clean up and uh, pretty much get ready to make the next one. Um, that's gonna be it for this video, guys. Thank you guys for watching.